Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the shop. This is a special episode. It's not part of the build of our camper because I know there are a lot of you out there who really want to see the masterpiece that Pierre Carl has created. This is the tour. This is Pierre Carl's 2013 Mitsubishi Fuso FG. It looks kind of similar to this one. These two trucks started out life together. These are the two trucks that I bought at the same time, and this is the amazing transformation that Pierre Carl has done to his. While there are a few differences, like this truck has 35 inch tires and the stock suspension, his truck has 37 inch tires and it has a two inch lift kit. So some of the items that Pierre Carl has added are the bumper, the wheel flares on the front, and the super single rims. And all of these came from Fuso Offroad, which is kind of our supplier for aftermarket parts in Canada. The rack on top of the cab, the rack on top of the box, and the ladder that you see going down the back corner are all fabricated. They're all aluminum, and those are all homemade by Pierre Carl. But the biggest and most impressive part of this truck is that Pierre Carl built the entire back in a similar way to what we're doing inside building mine. So he's got an aluminum frame in here. And what size was the aluminum for the frame? Uh, quarter inch, four by four corners. Okay, so these, these pieces here are four by four aluminum angle that's quarter inch thick welded to the run that goes across the bottom is the same stuff and then into the framing in a similar way to what we're building inside these are the composite panels and those composite panels are yours are two inches thick right yeah okay and put together in the same way using the double-sided tape to hold them in and then sealed in and, and adhesived in with uh, which glue did you use 252 sika flex okay so those aren't coming apart at all whatever in any way and you may notice that there's a lot of compartments on the side here. So what do you have in this compartment here, Pierre Carl? In this one, we have storage for our chairs ah, and a drawer for the propane tanks because we're using propane for the water here nice. and the fridge. That's really easily accessible and compact. So then the next one, this is your hot water heater here. Yeah, that's the hot water one. And your, how much uh, water storage do you have? I think it's a six gallon. 60? Six, uh, the, the water. Oh, the hot water tank is six, six gallons. Six gallons. And the, the tank the, itself? Which the is, water tank is here. Yeah. The one all across the trunk, it's 60 gallons. 60 gallons. So you carry 60 gallons of, of potable water and then a six gallon hot water heater. That's, that's, that'll last a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next uh, little doors you have uh, here? Well, the entryway for the water. Yeah. Here's shore power. The shore power. Here's a little hose that comes out okay yeah to rinse washing, things yeah. or fill up the cassette okay water cassette toilet yeah yeah That's nice and easy looks good and then we've got three windows on this side we'll get a little bit more look at those uh, when we're on the inside and all the cabinets underneath uh, you built all these as well yeah and there uh, you used a one by one aluminum frame on the inside and what yeah. was the plastic you said you used on it's the outside alu panel alu panel Cal quarter inch alley panel perfect looks really good that that fits really well i like how you did that so on the front here you've got uh, a couple of lights that you've put into it and you've got a winch in there what size uh, winch do you have uh, Fifteen thousand pounds Fifteen thousand, and what who's that made by uh the brand of the i don't remember <laughs> It's just big enough to pull you out. <laughs> I hope I never use it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the point. So on the other side of the vehicle, we've got uh, a window, the door, an awning, and a couple more storage compartments. So what do you have in, in the back? The back one is all storage? Yeah, this one's just basic storage. And the water system is in here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. A whole bunch of junk in there. <laughs> like a tarp, chairs, yeah. and... General storage gallon of DEF. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and then your next little one forward here. This one here. is just a basic. More storage. More. Whatever, whatever you need yeah, to fit whatever. in there. Yeah. 
And then your stairs, they, they clip on? Yeah, they yeah, clip so. on, they come off, and then they, I stash them in here. Okay. With the, the store here. Perfect. Yeah. When I'm finished, I just flip the door closed and it makes yeah. a nice... Perfect finish. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got in this uh, one your electrical system yeah, here? Yeah, this one is where the batteries are. And you the got inverter. And uh, 300 amp hours, is it? Yeah. 300 yeah. amp hours of power. Your uh, bus bars, DC to DC charger, and you said that was a 3,000 watt inverter? Yeah. Perfect. Lots of nice little space in there. Hidey hole for other little bits and pieces. Good stuff. So we'll get a little bit of a view on the inside here. Now I do have a, a bit of a fisheye wide angle lens on here. So some of the stuff may be a little out of focus, but we've got coming inside the door, all the electrical uh, control panels. Of course, a nice stereo. Dinette across from the door. And the bed in the back. And then a kitchen over here. And the fit and finish of all the cabinetry and everything in here is absolutely amazing. This is off of a, an assembly assembly production line, but a hundred times better. <laughs> this is what you get when you have a, a cabinet maker and a, a guy who builds kitchens for a living building the inside of a truck. It's just flawless. So on this side here, we have your, your fridge. Uh, you have a closet in the front there? Yeah, yeah. that's where I store the clothes. Yeah. You got to pass through into the cab, which for you is a requirement to, as an RV. Yeah, yeah, in Quebec, we have to have that. Yeah. So that's that's a, a big big thing that I don't have to have in Ontario, that you do have to have in Quebec to be classed as an RV. Uh, and then you've got another closet here, yeah? yeah that's a wardrobe. Wardrobe, yeah. And, and then so is the shower. The shower, shower and toilet. And the toilet are in behind there. So on the back side over here, that cabinet opens into the electrical compartment. Yeah. We've got a, a heater outlet there, another heater outlet here. Your heater is uh, the propane heater? The diesel. Diesel heater. Yeah. Look at this space. Have you ever seen anything as amazing as this? Up top, uh, you've got two roof vent uh, windows and those both open yeah yeah and then in the up top in the bathroom you have the max air fan right and then storage underneath the bed the microwave is that induction top yep that's an induction one yeah and that all runs off the 3000 watt inverter exactly yeah nice so far, it works fine. <laughs> Perfect. So far. It's always good when they work like you want them to. As well as building the full exterior shell, Pierre Carl has built all of the internal structure and cabinets. One great resource was buying and stripping a damaged camper trailer to source many of the base electrical components and things like the fridge, entry door, water heater, and stereo. The windows, skylights, exterior access hatches, and cabinet latches were all sourced from OE manufacturers. So Pierre Carl, one of the things that I know people are going to have questions about is how you did the pass through going from the box to the cab, because we've got this kind of accordion material here. And this is what connects because obviously the box and the cab can move independently. And you also have to be able to tilt the cab. So what is this? and and where does it come from, and how do you? How do this you do seal it? Came, comes from the Overland Outfitters out okay. in Vancouver. Okay. If I remember right, it's yeah. Vancouver. Yeah. And I made an aluminum frame that it clips on. It's yeah. Made to clip on one eighth inch okay. material. Yeah. So I got a separate frame here that I can loosen up. Uh huh. Like this, both sides. Okay. This will separate. Pops. Oh, gotcha. So there's there's the yeah. outside world right there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Down and there. And it makes. Every, allows everything to move in and Perfect. it also has a has it's fun for checking the oil yeah because the oil is yeah, kind of in the, the back here isn't is it right in right where right you can't get here. at it oh the yeah the dipstick is there right there are. so i use this made a special service tool <laughs> that's perfect just to watch yeah rather than having to yeah, flip the whole cab 
That oh, is, I mean, <laughs> it's a little bit too skinny to get your fingers down there. Oh, and they really didn't. Yeah. It doesn't work. Fuso wasn't thinking about the uh, box on the back being like this when they uh, designed that oil stick location. So Good stuff. So, back in. Yeah, it just clips in. Clips it in. And so when you want to tilt the cab, all you do is undo Set, those four yeah. little clips. Four, four clips and flip and then, the cab in and that's all. Perfect. That's easy. That if if I was if I was concerned about how I was supposed to make a pass through into my cab, and I saw this now, I would be oh that's easy. I I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. Easy. It, it looks much easier than I ever you know had had worried about and and thought about, and um, it's not something that I really think we will be doing. But you know, it's something that if I do decide to do it, I. I, I, I'd be much more comfortable doing it now that I've seen you. <laughs> now that you've seen yeah. it, <laughs> and you got a whole bunch of screens and and oh, it's things. Basically, up here. the GPS, the place to hold the phone, and yeah. the rear camera, ah, rear, rear, camera. rear camera. Okay, and then your your lights and switches yeah. are kind of on a bunch that of lights. There. Yeah, It'll open up from there. And a CB radio, is it? Yep. Yeah. yeah, just to make sure you can yell at all the truckers and. Extra speakers. Oh, yeah. Because the speakers in the truck are really <laughs> To be honest. That's a, that's a good spot for them. <laughs> good stuff. A couple questions on the truck. So, of all the things that you did to put this together, what's your favorite thing that you did? What's the best thing? I think the interior layout yeah. is probably the biggest and nicest part yeah. of the whole project because it took so much time to line up yeah. together and make yeah. sure everything was according to what our needs were yeah that's and a really good layout really happy yeah. with our layout yeah. for us absolutely and, and, and every truck is made to the what the person who's Absol using it should absolutely. be absolutely i think you did an amazing job in there if you could change one thing about the truck what would you change <laughs> <laughs> i put more horsepower more horsepower yeah i think that's a common theme among fuso owners yeah. around the world On the long hills yeah it's a little bit, yeah, little bit more. It would need more. Left to be desired. Yeah. yeah. So of all the modifications that you did to the vehicle, you did the suspension, the tires, the front bumper, and you made the, the front rack and the roof rack. Uh, which of those is, was, if you if you had to do one at a time, which one would you do first, do you think? The lift. The lift, the two-inch yeah. lift? Yeah. yeah. Made the biggest Definitely. difference? Yeah. 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 There's probably a lot of work to put it in, but worth it? Well, I didn't do all the work. Okay. Because... I brought the specialist to right. put the leaf springs in. That's right. That, yeah. I didn't touch that. Okay. I had it done. But it definitely made a real change in the truck. And then putting the 37s on I mean, it made a real big change. Yeah. So suspension and tires are the biggest game changer. Yeah. Oh, we didn't talk about how much solar you have. So we've got the, the rack on top of the cab. And then up on the roof, you've got a whole bunch of solar panels. How much solar do you have up here? 800 watts. 800 watts. And that seems to be doing the trick for you. The solar setup has maintained Pierre Carl's 300 amp hour battery bank while he has been parked here, even with using power for things like running the shower and boiling water on the induction cooktop. His electrical system is kept to what is required for his setup, keeping away from overly complicated gadgets that can consume more power than the use they provide. Some other additions that Pierre Carl did to the exterior include the custom wrap step extensions, and this drop-down spare wheel carrier on the back. I think for me, of all the creations he made, I'm most impressed by these lower cabinets. Super clean and functional. They just complete the look of the truck. Oh, and a word of advice from Pierre Carl. If you add one, don't forget to fold down the bumper before tilting the cab. appreciate you coming and, and showing us this truck. I really appreciate you helping me put mine together. That was a pleasure. Really. I, I, I was really very happy fun to do working it. with you. This truly is an amazingly well thought out and assembled machine. The quality and craftsmanship are second to none and it really is a head turner inside and out. If you ever get the chance to meet Pierre Carl and see it in person, you won't be disappointed. Thanks Pierre Carl for sharing your creation with everyone on YouTube. We all appreciate the inspiration. And um, 
there's a third question I was going to ask you, uh, and I totally can't remember it. 